The, um, the breeds that we see mostly at All Dogs Matter um, are the more difficult ones. So we see a lot of Staffies, a lot of Mastiff and Mastiff Crosses. We see German Shepherds. Um, we see Lurchers, unfortunately, like Beautiful Pearl that we've got here. Um, and they're dogs that can be quite hard to rehome, especially in London. Um, we do see smaller breeds as well, um, but the breeds that we get into kennels, the strays, tend to be those larger, more difficult breeds. Since I moved to London, I've always grown up with dogs. My mum's a vet for 25 years. So since I moved to London, it's quite hard for me to have my own. Um, so coming here was the perfect balance, really, because I get to spend time with these guys. They get socialised um, and I also get my fill of canine company as well. Um, it's really sad as well to see so many of them here that don't have the same attention and love that maybe my dogs did when we were growing up. So it's nice to be able to give a little bit of that back to them. The hardest part is obviously sometimes the condition of the dogs that come in and you see how terrified they are. And at first I used to kind of say, don't tell me their stories. And it's not that you get hardened to that, but you know that um, you know now they're in a good place and you see that they love the staff and the volunteers. And um, yeah, that's um, the dogs really are the heart best part um, when you see how they've completely changed, but also the hardest part sometimes when you think, how can people be so cruel to you know, a defenceless animal that can't speak up for itself? I got a call from Ira from All Dogs Matter to say that there was a dog that needed urgent fostering and um, Alfie came to me. He'd been very, very neglected. There'd been reports from neighbours that they were very concerned about a small dog that I believe was living on a balcony, possibly in a crate and was not an exercise and was very, very vocal and very, very neglected. And I agreed straight away to take Alfie in. It's a changed our lives immensely. He's totally, it's a joy. He, he just, it's a joy because he loves just seeing him as a family and just seeing him progress, play with toys. He's just so happy. He's, he's, a, right, he's a right little character. He's, he's mischievous and I love that. I, I love seeing that side of him come out because he was so subdued. And uh, he, he's, he's a great addition to our family. And he's a wonderful traveller. We've travelled quite a lot since uh, I got him and he just snuggles up and he just knows that when he gets his jacket on, the little backpack's being packed that we're off on an adventure. What I've enjoyed most about fostering at All Dogs Matter is almost all of it. I mean, I can't think of a bad thing, but the most the fun part has been the staff so easy to connect with. You guys take such good care of all of them. And then I've just had the chance to meet so many different type of dogs. Big personalities, little personalities, you know, cuddlers, not cuddlers, and it's been great. The reason that I ha think All Dogs Matter is an incredible charity to support and do things with is it's small, it's independent, they really work hard. They haven't got gazillions of dogs at any one time. They have a fantastic ethos about giving every dog a chance to be the best dog it can be in whatever environment. The reason people should support All Dogs Matter is because it's a wonderful local charity um, that really knows the area. And also they're extremely good at matching the right dog to the right owner. Dogs Matter is kind of the, it's got a small family feel and there are a lot of big charities for helping dogs but you can tell that everybody that works here really knows each of the dogs and each of their stories and it seems quite personal. One of the stories um, that I always remember and it still brings a tear to my eye although it was a very lovely story, a guy came in and he was rescuing these two little Yorkshire Terriers um, that had been privately handed over and it was they was absolutely terrified they were shaking because they obviously um, had been somebody's baby and then a real baby had come along and so um, they'd kind of got pushed out of the picture a bit. I was talking to the guy and uh, it, six weeks before he'd actually lost his wife 
So he was saying that I'm going to rescue these dogs, but they're also going to rescue me because they're going to give me a purpose and um, like help me get through it. And um, then I took him up to, went off to the car and he um, had a cage and he put it on the back seat, but put it behind. So he was saying, oh, you can see daddy driving home and that. And I came back up the path and like Liz was like, oh my God, why are you crying? And I was like, oh, we're not going to see those dogs again. So there are a few ways that people can get involved in All Dogs Matter. Um, Adopting one of our dogs, obviously. Fostering, we're always looking for more foster carers, um, especially around sort of North and East London. Whether that's a foster carer for a couple of days or three months, that's really important. Um, volunteers, we're always looking for more volunteers. You can volunteer at our shop, at our events, or if you live in the area at our kennels, we're always looking for more volunteers to come and help walk and socialise socialize our dogs there. And of course, donating. We always need funds. Our vet bill and our kennel bills are really expensive so any little um, amount that you can donate really helps. We'd like to thank you for continued support over the last 10 years. It's been an amazing journey and without your help we couldn't have managed. All dogs matter.